yesterday when I mentioned that we were in shock and it wouldn't be actually from right here at the stop to the moon. I actually really did mean that, you guys. Let's go ahead and review uh, what happened today and possibly see what could happen for the following sessions. What is up, you guys? Thank you so much for stopping by once again on this fine Wednesday night. This is Arca coming at you with a COSM, technicals, raw price action, and statistical threat of analysis. Before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video with a friend so that you and them could consider joining our trading community and Discord called RCAB. With that said, let's dive right into the charts. Okay, so we're looking at COSM on the daily chart here, okay? So we're, uh, you know, the targets that we were looking for finally got met. And uh, I did mention yesterday that it, it wouldn't be, you know, straight to the moon from here. And you can see that this rejection that we face today is actually from the descending broadening wedge, the resistance, okay? So we actually penetrated a little bit and we actually came right back down to the same place. Uh, I mean, given we did close, uh, we did close above, from the from the area that we closed in the prior day but still okay let's actually see the 12 hour and see where we did close okay so yeah we did close at four dollars and 57 cents per trading view okay so uh what one thing that it is that is good uh usually when we see these types of uh uh you know inverted hammers at the at the you know at the literally at the end of a uh, at the end of a trading uh, uh, capitulation, I'm sorry, I'm losing my words here, um, that usually presents a bullish signal. Now, the reason why I'm a little pensive about it is for the fact that it isn't actually below uh, the, pre the previous red candle. So in this case, we are parallel to it and we are creating this bullish hammer. Okay, so um, I'm honestly... Uh, I'm honestly a little a little unbiased for the actually I'm not favoring the upside quite uh, quite yet okay so it looks like there's still some things to figure out here okay so let's go ahead and move on to the next chart to see what we have and uh, okay so yeah let's go ahead and dive right in right into the statistical side of the analysis so new viewers new listeners uh, what you're looking at here actually I'm pointing at an at volatility and volatility is represented by this indicator BBWP uh, volatility is direction neutral. We pair it with stochastic momentum, which is an indicator that is proprietary to TradingView software, um, which, by the way, I'm actually an accepted affiliate for TradingView, and uh, the the affiliate link is actually located in the description below if you would like to uh, open up an account with them as it would uh, help my future of trading out uh, greatly. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we usually gain that bias for direction using that stochastic momentum, which is similar to an RSI, but it's momentum-based nonetheless. Okay, so uh, I am keeping track of this particular move that's happening while we're sitting at critical volatility within that 90 percentile of, of uh, the BBWP. Okay, so uh, what I'm essentially looking for is for the correction of momentum to actually start making that pivot towards the upside. Now, why I'm looking for that is because mo uh, momentum usually uh, has been right, uh, let's see, 75 to 91 percent of the time in guessing the asset's direction. Okay, so not perfect but very good to consider into our probabilities right so yeah in this case you can see that we already have a pivot right at this area that I'm circling around that pivot looks like there is buy pressure uh, starting to diminish a bit okay so as soon as we do get that corrective move to the upside I would be able to apply a statistical average okay and so that upside move that we're looking for is actually about a hundred spot three seven eight percent move to the upside but it's very much contingent upon the criteria being met particularly to vo uh, momentum versus volatility okay so we either have to maintain in this critical volatility zone uh you know uh, printing these uh daily reads actually because we're in the daily chart right so either that happens to volatility or it starts a contraction phase to the downside while momentum starts that uptrend okay so as soon as we do get either of those criteria met we can apply that 100 to spot 378 move to the upside of which we actually have an upside accuracy of about 82 spot 857 percent based on 35 total iterations throughout the entire trading history of COSM on the daily chart chart okay these are all my notes here um so yeah so it's i mean 35 is a, it's an okay number i'd really uh, bet more money or more of i'd actually bet more risk you know um when we have a uh, 70 minimum you know 80 iterations maybe that gives us a better chance but 35 is you know it's whatever it's okay we can still 
uh, we can still look at it. The probabilities are great, though. 82 spot, 85% uh, is, is, is amazing, you know, over the span of about 13 and a quarter days. So definitely a good thing there, you guys. So let's go ahead and now move on to the next chart to see what we have. Okay, so yeah, let's just go ahead and dive right into the RSI. Let me open up one window here as we can take a look at some drives of, um, of bullish divergence that are still at play. Okay, so yeah, we're looking at, let's see, we're looking at one drive. It, it, okay, first of all, divergence is the opposition of price action versus momentum. And in this case, momentum represented by RSI, Relative Strength Index. Okay, so just to kind of uh, make this a little faster because I do have to get to a live stream with you guys, I am just going to explain that we have three uh, drives of bullish divergence. Okay, so a very good thing uh, to note here. And the, I would like for the pivot to be a little more significant than this here, but nonetheless, it is a pivot and we do have to take it into account. Uh, the moving average is actually uh, supporting an upside continuation as well. So the moving average represented by this pink line here, 14 day period, standard, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, standard to any RSI setup in reality. Okay, so this purple line is actually the uh, RSI signal itself. Okay, so now let's go ahead and open up a multi pane so that we can gauge a deeper ed uh, edge for that uh, direction bias. Uh, particularly for the coming session. Okay, so I'm going to open up this uh, diagram here for the new viewers. I need you to kind of gander at these zones here as they're located right on right on here on the live chart. And uh, they're for you to actually take a look at as I will be speaking about these zones pretty often. Okay, so uh, the particular position is what we're looking for. So the 30 minute immediate short term time frame is suggesting a continuation to the upside. And now that upside continuation is likely since we are not in the deep areas of the bear weakness percentile, okay? So as long as we do maintain within the bear weakness shallow area, we can actually expect to be pulled right into the following zone or the prior zone. In that case would be the, the bear strength percentile. But since we are away from that zone, we are actually closer to the middle of the uh, of the. Uh, of the zone, so that's a good thing. We can actually continue that ascent, but please know that it is a 30 minute and this is likely to be lived pretty fast, okay? So now we can actually see the buy hourly uh, suggesting just sideways trading here, and that's uh, still suggesting that thing that we were looking at from two days ago. Okay, so as long as we do maintain in these shallow areas of the bear we of the bear strength percentile in this case, we can actually see some continuing of sideways trading. Also, we do have that 14-day uh, moving average above us, which is usually bearish and actually can serve as that form of resistance as we uh, get gravitationally pulled back and forth within within uh, these zones. Okay, so now the six-hour time frame is suggesting a slight downside. In this case, we do have to pay attention closely to the position in which we're in, okay, because we are dangerously close to that very shallow area, I'm sorry, deep area of the bear weakness percentile, which usually means that gravitational pull into the following zone, okay? So now the daily time frame is suggesting sideways trading as well, okay? The only thing bearish of this is the fact that we have the moving average above us, okay? Other than that, it's it's suggesting a slight, slight pivot to the upside. Now, the other time frames like buy daily and three day uh, actually I'm sorry like the three day and five day are suggesting a continuation to the downside there is I guess the sense of hopium behind this would actually be for us to manipulate the curvature on the higher term time frames via the uh, shorter term time frames okay so there's no guarantee in that all right so now as far as the Cryptex arc series indicators we are uh in the buy hourly, we are suggesting a buy signal, okay, which is actually uh, in accordance to what we were talking about within the 30 minute time frame of the RSI, suggesting an upside continuation. So those indicators are actually uh, su suggesting that little bit of an upside. But um, just so you know exactly what DBSI is, it's actually a statistical indicator that takes a metric of every single candle print, particular to the assets time frame. In this case, the buy hourly, and that buy hourly uh, read is actually throughout the entire trading history of the asset. Okay, so you you can see that it's been measuring uh, every single can candle output. Okay, so in this case, we are getting a statistical value presented as a percentage value right 
up here. Okay, so the Bears are leading the way with 56% over the Bulls at 44%. So this is actually pretty good since we're starting to kind of uh, balance the plate here. Okay, so this is a good thing. It was, it was. I mean, a certain point we were actually just leading. Uh, Bears were actually leading the way by 90%, 85%. You know, and now uh, the numbers are actually starting to change little by little, which is actually a very good thing. So from today's price action, you can actually see that we use that 13 day exponential moving average as a form of resistance before continuing uh, that path to the way uh, down. OK, so see, I'm sorry, uh, DBSI actually takes into account the 13 day exponential moving average. As long as we are below it, uh, things are a little bit bearish, which is which is, you know, uh, showing on the percentage values, okay, but as and then as soon as we're above it, things can get bullish, okay, you guys. So, uh, please know that I'm not a financial advisor. Take whatever I do show and iterate within these videos as just a form of entertainment. If you are interested in picking up these, uh, the Arc Series Cryptex indicators, um, please reach out to me on a DM. I will go over the subscription packages, uh, with you so that we can, um, uh, uh, settle that okay so now arc enhanced macd is actually still suggesting a downside continuation uh it looks like the bollinger brands are actually starting to kind of contract a little bit they're starting to tighten up a little bit which could be a sign for something but you know live feed live data would actually have to validate that all right you guys so that is uh what i'm looking at so far for cosm if you do have any questions again please reach out to me those links will be included in the in the description below all right you guys so that will be it for the video and i will uh actually i wish you well i wish you a very good night and i will catch you at the bell manana adios